<laughs> Hi guys, Obi Dave here. And I am Ash, who's just been violated. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> yeah. What happened? You know exactly what happened. No idea. No idea. So say, uh, uh, in between shots, and uh, we, we each violate each other, I suppose. Like, I've, I've licked your face. That's a real violation. <laughs> that's horrific. That's, I, I hate, that I hate was that. fun. It was like the one of the times when he leaned in to give me a kiss and I just stuck my tongue out at the last second and he kissed my tongue. <laughs> that disturbs me so much. I don't, I don't ever understand. <coughs> horrific. So I suppose I'm, I'm entitled to get violated back. I did a nice violation. <laughs> <We saw it. laughs> Might leave it in. Uh, <laughs> no, I right. We've just reacted to Luke Combs when it rains, it pours. Yes. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get blocked like some of the country stuff does. Uh, if it does, it'll be over on Patreon. Yeah. Um, but we, the reason we did it then is because Drumio's new video, Luke Combs' drummer, Here's Gojira for the first time. Amazing. Um, we've reacted to one Gojira song together. We did The Gift of Guilt. Yes. If you remember, it was the live one at Brixton Academy. The drummer was doing a thing called polyrhythms where like what your feet are doing is a different rhythm to what your hands are doing. So okay. it's sort of like it can make the drums sound off to some people's ears. Like, you know, like if, if the, if the say, kick and the snare are in time oh, yeah. with each other, it makes sense to okay. a lot of people's ears. Things like polyrhythms are like, it's the, the drummer's just doing two different rhythms at the same time. Okay. But it's, it's such a crazy, talented thing to be able to do. Okay. And the Gojira drum is pretty known for it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, it was a while ago we reacted to it. So So it'll be interesting to see, because obviously he's not, this guy Luke isn't going to hear um, the drummer he's a, from Gojira at all, because it's no. going to be excluded from the track. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see what his whole take on the actual song is, because if it's, like you say, like there's poly... Polyrhythms. Polyrhythms. Cool. Does Luke do polyrhythms? Does he know? Well, then it'll be really interesting to see the change in the music, it's especially not, since he's never heard of Gojira because it's his first time. So. As, as far as I'm aware, there's no country artist incorporating polyrhythms into it. It's more of a, I think, like jazz drummers and metal drummers. Okay. Certain metal drummers do it. Cool. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one, this, because yeah. essentially country music drummer hearing a technical sort of metal band with that sort of polyrhythms and stuff okay. but that being said everyone we've seen on here has been such a talented yes. wide-ranging so good drummer that even if they're you know an indie drummer for example they still make th- it work yeah so i'm excited for this one yeah i am yeah nice one so uh make sure you like and subscribe before we get into it we yes. are doing a bit of a drumio tangent because it's fun and it's new it is yeah and uh yeah let's do it luke combs drummer here's gojira for the first time whoop whoop you ready i am if Luke Combs sees you playing this, you might lose the gig. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, here we go. He will not know this. If you know this, I give up. I probably, I, God, I hope I don't know it. I would hate to play that live every night. <laughs> <laughs> it's no mercy. Yeah, that was f***ed up. <laughs> that was hard. I never get to play that stuff. People are gonna lose their minds when they see you play this. I'm just saying. The drums are gonna be taken out. Cool. You can come up with your own part, whatever you wanna play. Off the record, if you know it, let me know and we'll jump to the next one. Sounds good, I got it recorded. Ah! Like it's corn! All right, we found one. Oh, no, <laughs> Seriously? You're really good at this game. Huh? Porcupine Tree are quite obscure. Yeah. Prog. I think rock, I've heard metal. the odd song. I've never listened but to it. Corn, I really enjoyed that. That song that came after that, I've heard that a few times. The main guy from Porcupine Tree is the producer for Opeth. And, like, I'm more aware oh. of him. I don't think we've ever reacted no. to Opeth, actually. But no. Used you should to, do. Used to be a great band. Oh, okay. I'm glad. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I didn't know that. Whatever that was. <laughs> God. It's such a cruel game. <laughs> For anyone who uh, is watching this video, so you have the click in your ear. Uh, we just loaded up Drumio songs for this, so there's a click track going, but you still can't hear the original drum part. No, not at all. I'm uh, curious what you're going to do with this one. <laughs> hey, me, t- me too. <laughs> and you have no idea what the band is? Zero. Perfect. So I'm very excited. I'll put the pen down. So, from that chart, 
what what do you have written down there? So uh, I counted out each each uh, section. Uh, hope I have it spot on. I noticed with the uh, choruses, if it was the choruses, the guitar's accent really more on the ands. You know, without hearing the drum part, it's kind of interesting to like chart a song and you're kind of, it's like making, yes, making your own part on the spot. Um, but I'd rather at least have the measures correct. Well, you want to give it for a go? Yeah. First take? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how, uh, how well the chart works for you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here it is. I usually do not play to this type of music. So this series is super popular with people who don't even play the drums. And if you're watching this right now and you think you might like to try drumming for yourself, I'm excited. Because for the first time ever, you have the option to get everything you need to start drumming in a single click. We partnered with Elisa's to create a limited edition beginner e-kit that includes one year of unlimited drum lessons. You'll have all the lessons, songs, and workouts cool. you need to learn to play really this cool. instrument, plus a drum set that works in any living situation. You can visit the link down below to check out this limited edition kit while supplies last. That That's doesn't a... look like it takes up too much space. Either. No, I know. I was just thinking. <clears throat> I mean, I love playing the drums. I'm not very good, but I, I, I don't have the rhythm. But that would be so much fun in here. I know. I know. Can mm. we make space? I don't know. We're gonna, let's you move in first. And yeah, see yeah. See how much space, space I've got. got coming with me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But I love playing drums. Well, that's why I showed you those drumsticks that are literally like know, air that, drumsticks. That, it's not. It's not. It's, I it's know. Kind it's of not the same. You don't get to slap on the. Well, whenever I played in bands when I was younger, as soon as the drummer used to go out and go to the toilet or whatever, yeah, I'd just be sat there. It, they'd always come back in, and I'd just be going crazy on it. <laughs> used to hate me for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was tricky. I noticed uh, there were parts where I definitely switched time signatures. Oh man, that was hard. If Luke Combs sees you playing this, you might lose the gig. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Unless he wants to throw down to this too. Yeah, exactly. So at least he'd probably be like, you know what? He could play this hardcore stuff too. Cool. Who is it? Am I allowed to? I'm not gonna tell you yet. For this next take, like you made your way through the tune, you made it to the end, ended at the right spot. What are some things you want to focus on for the second uh, playthrough? Really trying to figure out where those time signature changes happen. Also figuring out what, what that time signature may be since I was, when I was playing along, I was like, okay, that's definitely not right. You want to give it another go? Yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, here it is from the top, take two. He's, he's probably like knows deep down that there's something going on with the drummer but he can't work out what the guy's doing because yeah. he hasn't heard it I don't know for definite that this song has the polyrhythms in it I don't yeah. know if every Gojira song does they no. probably don't I do know this song quite well though but obviously not being a drummer yeah. I, I don't listen to that as much no I get that but it's thrown him in at the deep end here isn't it because this is yeah it's pretty heavy yeah two
Jesus. Nice. <laughs> that ending was great. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was fun. I never get to play that stuff. People are going to lose their minds when they see you play this. I'm just saying. Does that work for you guys? I know that, I mean, obviously I'm not going to get it perfectly, but I think that was way better than the first one, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know who it is? Yes, I'd love to, please. Okay, so the band is Gojira. The drummer's name is Mario. He's an absolute beast on the drums, and we got to get him up to Dremio, but the song is called Stranded. Okay. And I think you'll be surprised by some of the, uh, let the me, parts uh, that Mario played. Yeah, let, let me turn this down real quick so I don't get blasted. I thought he did a really good job. I think he did a really good job. That was really his job. second playthrough. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Especially as it's not something that he's well practiced in. He's, he's yeah. clearly into metal because he to recognise, like, you know, Porcupine Tree and... Um... They're kind of prog rock. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's know. still, I know, and then also Korn and stuff like that as well. Yeah. So he recognises that kind of genre of music. So he's obviously started out as a drummer in different areas and learned different songs. So he's yeah. not unskilled, but he's just unpracticed. I think it, my only thing there is where he, he was trying to figure out what was coming next and he was just a, a tiny bit behind a couple yeah. of times. But that's like a song as technical as this here in a, oh, a second time. Know. You know, you can't play him. It's unreal. Absolutely it, incredible. I think he did a great job. And like that ending as well. Yeah, it was epic. He proper went for it. Proper yeah. full out. Yeah. That's awesome. There's so much going on. Yeah, I would was. hate to play that live every night. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why we leave that to Mario. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That's wild. I want to know if he plays the exact parts every night or if he gets to have a little bit of uh, creativity. I'm sure he changes some stuff up, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty wicked drum part. Yeah, my goodness. Holy smokes. Good on him for creating that beast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me learn this song on the spot and I'll see you guys later. I enjoyed that one. I really enjoyed that one. He he did really well. Yeah. He just wasn't nearly as heavy and chaotic as Mario was. I don't know. That was unreal. I don't know if there's anyone who could hear that song without drums no. and <clears throat> do no, anything exactly. near what was supposed to be done. No. Those little misbeats and the little extra bits he was adding in in between each of the other instruments was unreal, Mario. Like, what yeah. a dude. There's a band called Meshuggah that do a similar drumming sort of technique. Like Big Lovin'. <clears throat> no, <laughs> nothing like that that we're going to have to react to at some point because okay. if they haven't already been on this yeah. at some point they're going to throw a sugar song at someone because it's like that, it's similar to that Gojira sort yeah. of style but heavier and faster and just okay. like in some ways sounds simpler but isn't whatsoever okay. drum wise it's, it's hard to explain but we're going to have to react to them at some point but I, I can see them featuring on this channel. Sweet. If you threw that at a drummer who doesn't listen to him, it'd be... Chaos. You'd have no idea. I know, but it'd be really fascinating. Yeah. I love this, though. I think it's such a great concept It is such channel. a great concept. I'm really enjoying this little uh, adventure down this Yeah. Uh, yeah, seriously. We've got quite a few more to do, and they're actively releasing videos. Yeah. This is only six days old. So. And after this, go and have a look at how much those drum kits are. I think we can make space. Even if they like folds up and goes under your it won't fold desk, up. It'll, it'll be it'll probably take up the space of this desk. Well, you don't need a desk. <laughs> I don't need a desk, do I not? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Cheers for that one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below which drumio we haven't done yet that we should do. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.